The following presentation is brought to you by Discovery Education, leading the world of digital and video learning. Discovery Education, connect to a world of learning. There's a popular myth out there that says junk food causes acne. Is it true or false? You call them zits. I call them comedomes. No matter what you call pimples, they love to rear their ugly white heads at the worst times. Our glands produce oils. The oils pair up with cells on their way out. Together, they travel to the surface of the skin. But sometimes the oils and cells don't make it to the surface. Instead, they hang out and block up the gland. Except the gland has no idea what's going on and it keeps producing more oil. As oil fills up the gland, a pimple forms at the skin's surface. So that's how a pimple pops up under normal conditions. But what happens when you throw junk food into the mix? Say, steamy subs, deep rich chocolate, or my all-time favorite, pizza. I want to find out if some foods cause acne and how to beat the spots before they rear their ugly heads. This is Janelle. This is Valerie. And this is Dr. No. In order to work out whether junk food really does cause acne, these two women are changing up their entire diet to see if there is any correlation. First stop, the dermatologist's office. Dr. Audrey Cunin can literally get under your skin. When you're published in more than 30 magazines, have your own website, a skincare product line, and your own book, you earn the right to be called the Derma Doctor. What we do now is that when you have high blood sugar from eating all those great tasting chocolate bars and french fries, that those will actually trigger the oil glands. They trigger the oil glands, but is that enough to cause an acne flare-up? Hi, I'm Dr. Cunin. This, this is, is Valerie. You. Valerie, your skin looks great. OK, Valerie, for the next week, healthy eating is no longer a part of your vocabulary. I want you to eat burgers, I want you to eat pizza, I want you to drink soda, eat chocolate and candy. If it's fried, eat it. If it's got sugar in it, eat it. Do you think you can handle it? I think so. And here's a little something to get you started. Oh, thank you. Oh, and just, just, do you mind if I have a piece of oh, chocolate? No. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Janelle, you have beautiful skin. Does it always look this great? Yes. Your mission is to remove all junk food from your diet. So you're going to subsist on a diet of fruit, vegetables, nice healthy grains. Do you think you can take it? Yes. Great. Here's a little something to help you on your way. Thank you. Celery stick? Uh, no, thanks. I'm trying to give them up. <laughs> if the myth is true, Janelle's healthy diet should cause no change in her flawless complexion. Valerie's? Well, that remains to be seen. So let the feasting begin. Well, it's been three days since our lab rats set out to pop the myth on acne. Hello, Valerie. Three days on nothing but junk. And she looks pretty good. Let's head off and see how Janelle's face and her plate are doing. It's been three days of delicious salads, crunchy vegetables, cool, clear water. How's your skin going? I haven't noticed any changes at all. No. Let's have a closer look. After three days, there's really no difference between Janelle, who had the good, healthy diet, and Valerie, who had the junk food. But we've still got four days to go before we see if any zits are blooming. Dermatologist Dr. Audrey Cunin sees patients of all ages. So if anyone knows acne is not just for teens, it's her. Women tend to have acne far worse in our 20s and 30s than during our teen years. Every time our progesterone rises and our estrogen plummets, back comes the acne flare-up. Acne will aggravate women up through at least menopause. Wow, that means our women lab rats might be in for a pimple pileup. That is, of course, if junk food really does affect acne. Should we squeeze? Squeezing's out. When you squeeze a pimple, you're gonna create damage to this structure. It's gonna lead to scarring and more inflammation. So you end up worse off than you were before. 
so we can't pop our zits. But some simple pimple relief could come from one of the last places you'd think to look, your local grocery store. If I apply some of these remedies to my zits, am I going to see any difference in the morning, or will I just have egg on my face? Many of these acne treatments really do help. Lemons, they're acidic. It can kill those bacteria. It can also act as a mild chemical exfoliant and help unplug pores. You wake up with an occasional pimple, it's time to apply that dab of toothpaste. But you want to make sure that that toothpaste is white right. and paste-like. You want to make sure that you don't select one that is used for whitening. Another method is the home egg white mask. It will just draw the blemishes out of the skin. Well, that's sound advice from the derma doctor herself. But the question today is whether or not junk food is the real culprit behind acne. We're headed back to the dermatologist's office to see if our eaters made out okay or if their skin went through a major breakout. Remember, Valerie? It's been seven days since she took on the daunting task of eating junk food for a solid week. Fried foods, sodas, chocolate, you name it, if it was greasy, oily or sticky, Valerie ate it. On the other hand, Janelle was digging into salads, proteins and whole grains. Snack breaks were filled with veggies and fruits, and it was all washed down with crisp, clean water. Janelle, I hope that's all you ate. It was. Ladies, after a week of strict dieting, if you can call it a diet, <laughs> how are you feeling? I felt like I was doing something good for myself. Oh, I feel the opposite, for sure. <laughs> Did it make your skin feel any different? Just the feeling that I needed to wash my face. I just, I felt greasy as a result of eating it. I was paranoid I'd have issues if I didn't clean my hands and clean my face. Exactly, and there's so. no question that you can transfer that oil onto your skin, which can smother and potentially result in some acne, but not because of it going into your stomach. Right. I think the Zit Queen is going to go uncrowned. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Valerie's poor diet really made no difference on the surface. So how did chocolate become acne's scapegoat? We want the chocolate bar because we're stressed out and we're going to get blemishes. It's not the chocolate bar causing the acne. It's the stress. Exactly. So the connection between acne and junk food is a myth in all but very, very few cases. Good news for those of us who sneak a candy bar now and then. We've escaped by the skin of our teeth.